Ad de question, question period. Senator Plett. Thank you, uh, Speaker. My question is for the uh, government leader. Leader, February 10th, I asked you a uh, couple of questions, and I actually suggested that uh, you needed to start answering the questions that we asked. At 7.40 that night, one of my granddaughters WhatsApped me, and I'm going to read this to you, Leader, and then I'm going to ask my question. And she said, Grandpa, I think your questions are too complex in the Senate. No one seems to be able to, an be able to give you an answer, <laughs> let alone say anything close to what you asked. She went on to say, you sound tired. I would be too if I had to sit and listen to all that BS. Love you. I love her as well. <laughs> Leader, I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to imagine you are answering Emily and give her the answer that she will understand. Leader, last Thursday night, a violent attack took place in the coastal gas link work site near Houston, British Columbia. About 20 people, some armed with axes, attacked security guards, smashed vehicles and heavy machinery, set fires in roadways, injured an RCMP officer and traumatized workers. A statement from the BC RCMP said, and I quote, this is a very troubling escalation in violent criminal activity that could have resulted in serious injury or death. This was a calculated and organized violent attack that left its citizens shaken and a multi-million dollar path of destruction. Leader, why does the Trudeau government believe the trucker convoy rises to the level of national emergency when this incredibly vicious and dangerous attack in BC hardly drew even a mention from the Prime Minister? The Prime Minister, does the Prime Minister think it's okay to demonize other groups of Canadians simply because he doesn't agree with them? Well, uh, Senator, uh, thank you for the question, and I, I do hope that your lovely granddaughter is, uh, is listening. Uh, the government condemns the violence that took place uh, <coughs> at the Coastal Link Gas Link uh, Pipeline that took place in British Columbia. The government, uh, as it is said on many occasions, respects everybody's right to peacefully protest. That does not include violence and intimidation, such as you outlined, I think, very uh, well, uh, colleague. My, I am advised that the RCMP is pursuing an investigation, and we all, I'm sure, look forward to uh, that being brought to a conclusion. Senator Platt. Hardly a mention from the Prime Minister, though, Leader. Leader, this is a sad moment for our country. We have been led to this point by a divisive and vindictive Prime Minister who preferred to bring forward an unprecedented power grab rather than have dialogue with fellow Canadians. Leader, the Premier of both my province of Manitoba and your province of Quebec do not want the Emergencies Act invoked on their jurisdictions. Five other provinces say the same, including one that is suing the government. When the Prime Minister invoked the Emergencies Act, he claimed it would be a geographically targeted leader. In the other place on Saturday, the Parliamentary Secretary for the Minister of Justice confirmed that the legislation applies to all of Canada. Leader, what guidelines did the Trudeau government use before making the call to declare a historic national emergency throughout our entire country? Senator Gold. Well, thank you for the question. This is obviously a question that preoccupies us all. And indeed, uh, we are to begin debate on this very question uh, tomorrow. And that is very much the uh, focus of the task that the, uh, uh, that, 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 uh, that we are, with which we are seized. And I look forward to sharing my views and answering in, in the most fulsome way as I can uh, your question and, 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 and every other question that senators may have. 
during the debate, and I look forward as well uh, to hearing your views and those of my colleagues on this most important question.